Your financial support for Central California Legal Services means victory for families like Maria's, a veteran and victim of eviction fraud. There are so many more that need your help. Bring justice to our community. You help CCLS fight for justice. Donate today. No matter what's happening outside with the Lennox Ultimate Comfort System, it's always air, perfectly tuned to your home air and operates whisper quiet. The Lennox Ultimate Comfort System. Perfect air, fully realized. Don't you wish everything was perfect? Lennox, air is life. Make it perfect. Call Donald P. Dick Air Conditioning today. What does CCLS stand for? Central California Legal Services stands for our aging neighbors, affordable and safe housing, a bright future. We're looking for attorneys to join CCLS. Visit centralcallegal.org and stand with us. It's 11 o'clock. AmeriGuard Security would like to remind you to set your alarm and check your cameras. Trust only the best. Protect your family, home, or business with 24-7 armed response. Remember, Amera guards it. Lithia Subaru of Fresno proudly sponsors tonight's first segment of Eyewitness News. Lithia Subaru of Fresno. Subaru confidence in motion. This is Murrow and Emmy Award winning CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 11. More broken records today for our warm valley weather. Chief Meteorologist Lauren Wallace has your pinpoint weather forecast. That's right, and some of you did reach 90 degrees for the first time this season today. And we do have more record-breaking temperatures on the way tomorrow. Let's go ahead and take you through a time lapse from today with our Valley Cam Network. This is going to be our Avenue 13 and Highway 99 camera in Madera. Nothing but sunshine for us today. And again, we were really dealing with the heat. We'll call it hot for this time of the year with highs in the 90s. So here's a look at those numbers. Fresno 90 today record high was 85 Madera you broke your record high temperature 89 today Merced 87 today that is above your now old record of 83 and then Hanford you hit 90 today your record before today was 86 degrees right now temperature still in the 70s if you're in Fresno otherwise we have 60s across the valley and then Mariposa currently at 57 midnight will be at 68 degrees do expect lows to drop to the 50s tonight just like last night 59 at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning and then 87 by 5 o'clock above the record high. I'll let you know how long I expect to break records in your pinpoint weather forecast coming up. First, we'll send it back to Catherine. Thanks, Lauren. New at 11, Fresno police announced a reward for a homicide investigation that sat cold for over a year. A $5,000 reward is now available for information leading to the identification of suspects in the murder of 23-year-old Giovanni Boyd. CBS 47's Catherine Phillips joins us live in studio with the latest. Catherine. Well, Catherine, Fresno police say the community and Boyd's family and friends helped put up the money for the reward. At this point, it's been over a year since he was shot and killed, and his family are still left without answers. Over a year has gone by since 23-year-old Giovanni Boyd was shot and killed, but his friends and family are still without answers. Fresno police say the shooting happened in November 2020 on East Fedora Avenue. Police say they were called to the shooting around 9 that night and found a car had crashed into a carport support beam in an apartment parking lot. Inside was Boyd in the driver's seat with multiple gunshot wounds. He was only 23 at the time. Now, over a year later, his friends and family have raised $5,000 for a reward for information leading to the identification of the suspects in this case. In November, for the one-year anniversary of Boyd's death, police say they had very little information to go off of. Somebody out there knows something that can lead to the arrest of the guilty parties, and we need your help. And that his family is still hoping for justice. Although our family's lives will never be the same, we should at least have justice. To the Fresno community at large, we need your help. We need your help. My son deserves justice. Now, if you have any information on Giovanni Bowie's case, please call the Fresno police. I'm in the studio tonight, Catherine Phillips, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.
Catherine, thank you. In the North Valley, Merced police have arrested one man for a reckless dirt bike riding, and they're searching for a second suspect. They released this video of one of the incidents on G Street that started back on March 13th. An investigation led to the arrest of Demario Borea. He's facing charges of felony evading and child endangerment. Police are now looking for the second dirt bike rider, and here is a look at his picture. Anyone with information on the identity of this man is asked to contact Merced Police. Continuing coverage tonight, Madera High School mourning the loss of one of their own. 19-year-old Roberto Arianes was killed in a motorcycle accident yesterday morning in the area of Olive and 6th Street. Arianes played on the Madera High football team and had hoped to advance to the university level. The Fresno City Council voted unanimously today to move forward with an audit of the finances of the council and city staff. As CBS 47's Esteban Reynoso explains, Mayor Jerry Dyer is backing the audit and wants it paid for and finished within 90 days. There will not be a rebuttal comment from no, anybody. Public comment. Nobody today has the received two times to speak. It doesn't Nobody matter. has. The city attorney says this has been a Council members throwing verbal jabs at fellow council member Gary Bredefeld across the council chambers Thursday morning. Bredefeld does not have a city issued credit card. No one is holding him accountable for sitting on hundreds of thousands of dollars in his council budget rather than investing them in his district, making a difference. But they all agreed on one thing. I. Seven. Uh, 7-0, item passes. Moving forward with an audit of all 79 Fresno City issued credit cards and reimbursements to council members over the past five years. The council directed the city manager to look at the difference in price between a five-year and 10-year audit. The credit cards were issued under the watch of former Mayor Lee Brand. Now Mayor Jerry Dyer saying this vote puts everything on track to get this audit going in two weeks. We'd already reached out to a CPA firm uh, to have those discussions and then today solidified that unilateral vote by the council. To go back um, five or ten years is obviously going to uh, create more costs for the city. The mayor says $50,000 will go towards the audit. However, the majority of it, up to $500,000, will be paid for by District 6's budget, coming directly out of Councilmember Bredefeld's $700,000 operating budget. But it's certainly, it's an effort to try to hurt. Uh, my constituents because I'm exposing what they're doing. We're, we're not going to be intimidated. And the last thing we want to do is lose the trust and the confidence of our community. These types of issues become an un unnecessary distraction for us in government. I'm looking forward to the review being completed, uh, making whatever corrections we can, and then getting back to business in Fresno. In Fresno, Esteban Reynoso, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. The Fresno Police Department is using a new dispatch system that they say will help them gather the most critical information from incoming calls. The new system is called Axon CAD, which stands for Computer Assisted Dispatch. Fresno is the only city in the nation using it. Fresno Police say the system will sort through some of the noise that dispatchers get when multiple calls are being made to 911, as well as help organize the information as it comes in to the officers in the field. Well, if there's too much white noise, officers don't really know what they're responding to. So this will help us make sense of that information all in the time that it takes for a person to dial a phone and an officer to get there. Fresno police officers have been training and preparing for this upgraded system for four years. At a high stakes summit in Brussels, President Biden urged European allies to remain united in their response to Russian leader Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. The single most important thing that's for us to stay unified and the world continue to focus on what a brute this guy is. In a busy day of diplomacy, the president attended meetings with leaders from NATO, the G7, and European Union. He declined to say if there is intelligence of Putin potentially using chemical weapons, but promised a response from NATO if it were to happen. We would respond. We would respond if he uses it. The nature of the response would depend on the nature of the use. Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, addressed world leaders from Kyiv and pleaded for more military aid. President Biden is set to meet with Poland's president tomorrow. That country has taken in some two million Ukrainians since the invasion began last month. And we have more video from Ukraine. This is from a webcam showing a Russian ship gutted by flames and explosions in the Ukrainian port of Berdyansk. 
It was being used to deliver cargo and military equipment. The fire was also burning on one of two naval ships leaving the area. And footage released by the Ukrainian military shows a strike on what it said were Russian forces near a central part of Mariupol. The video shows mortars hitting several Russian military assets near the central part of the city. Emergency workers carefully removed bombs and debris across the city of Kharkiv. At least six people were killed and 15 others injured while waiting for humanitarian aid. In a the city of Tijuana has put a fence along the pedestrian pathway that leads up to the San Ysidro port of entry to prevent any more migrants from camping out. Dozens of Ukrainian and Russian migrants were living at the site until last weekend when the city convinced them to move to hotels. Earlier this month, the migrants had created a makeshift campsite just south of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection checkpoint. In other news, it is Red Cross Month here in Fresno, and today was American Red Cross Day. Red Cross volunteers and staff deliver vital services from providing relief and support to those in crisis to helping families be prepared for emergencies. They've been dedicated to serving people for more than 140 years. Our local chapter here in the Valley is grateful that their volunteers are getting some recognition. This is something that is, should be near and dear to all of us in our community uh, because the American Red Cross uh, works so quietly behind the scenes on a daily basis within our community. Uh, people don't often know it, but uh, when there is a fire, when people are being displaced, uh, the first call we make is to the American Red Cross. One call does it all, and we are able to uh, get people who are being displaced uh, in time of crisis into uh, a location that is safe and comfortable for them. The City Council is encouraging residents to reach out and support the Red Cross's humanitarian mission, especially during this month, and to volunteer where they can. Coming up here on Eyewitness News at 11, a warning if you're a lottery player. State officials say this is the season when scams are being launched. We'll tell you what to look out for. Plus, part of the home of the Denver Broncos goes up in flames today. And the story behind this pink grasshopper that was found in Texas. We're back in a little over a minute. DoorDash driver duped out of cash after a call from fake tech support. Two days worth of pay. Friday, CBS 47 is on your side. Before you lose any income, see how this scam played out. Award-winning Eyewitness News investigates Friday at 9. You never take a break. <laughs> and we won't either. Adding more local news to our award-winning lineup. CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 5, 6, 7, and now 7.30. The three-row Subaru Ascent. Room for up to eight passengers. Standard EyeSight driver assist technology. Standard symmetrical all-wheel drive plus up to 27 miles per gallon. Coming from Kelly Blue Book's most trusted and best overall brand for 2021. The three-row Subaru Ascent. Love is now bigger than ever. Get to Subaru at Fresno, where every new Subaru comes with complimentary maintenance included. Tonight on The Late Show, Sandra Bullock is here. We're the same age, so my first question is, am I the painting she keeps in her attic that ages instead of her? Tonight. Eyewitness News is brought to you in part by Midland Tractor. This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News. A new at 11, a warning if you're a lottery player. State officials say this is the season when scam time for fraudulent activity with scam artists posing as lottery staff to steal personal information. Lottery officials say they never charge players to claim their prize or ask for any money up front. Also, a lottery official would never personally contact you about winning a jackpot before an official claim is filed. And be suspicious of any urgent solicitations that suggest you will lose a prize if you don't act immediately. New at 11, a fire torched several rows of seats and a suite area at Mile High Stadium in Denver. The fire broke out on the third level of the stadium where construction has been underway. No injuries were reported. 
and the cause of the fire is under investigation. The California Endowment, which fights to preserve communities, says a Dodger Stadium gondola project is moving too fast. The proposed aerial gondola would transport baseball fans from Union Station to Dodger Stadium. A petition was filed this week, and it claims that the L.A. County Transportation Authority is fast-tracking the project without proper vetting. Chinatown residents say the project would change the landscape of their neighborhood. I have mixed feelings about it. You know, the plus is that it's zero emission. You know, people are going to be transported. It's, there'll, there'll, be, there'll, there'll be less cars in Dodger Stadium, but also it takes away the, the privacy. The California Endowment is asking the court to stop the project and start over to allow residents to have a greater say in the planning. New at 11, a man recently stumbled upon a colorful discovery in Texas. Dirk Parker was taking a nature walk last week when he spotted a pink grasshopper. The color comes from a genetic mutation. The grasshopper, named Pinky, will be kept in a safe habitat because they say its pink color makes it easier for predators to spot him. If you're looking for work, there's a section on our website to help you find a job. Here's a look at some of the listings on the job corner. They include an opening for a regional property manager, an office assistant, and a part-time bank teller. You can find these jobs and others on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Just click on the tab that says jobs. If you're planning a trip to the Central Coast, you'll soon be able to visit Hearst Castle once again. That story right after your pinpoint weather forecast. And right now I do have your four-day allergy forecast brought to you by Boz Allergy. Your top pollens, ash, elm, and juniper. High levels for the next three days, and then Monday will drop back to medium high. We did set record highs today. Some of you hit 90, warm again tomorrow. So I'll be talking about more record-breaking temperatures in your pinpoint weather forecast next. Count the mania to win with CBS 47. Visit Furniture City, guess the number of balls in the display case, and you can win cash in a coastal getaway. Now through April 4th with Furniture City, Dolphin Bay, and CBS 47. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. The GMC Sierra AT4. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. For current eligible GMC owners, claim your purchase allowance on Sierra Limited Elevation Crew Cab models. That's an MSRP under 46000 on this Sierra. More Furniture for Less has amazing styles at incredible values, all in stock and on sale. Choose the bed of your dreams for $7.95. Get this contemporary bed with detailed headboard and gray for only $7.95. Get this linen bed with built-in adjustable base for only $7.95. Or choose this glamorous mirror panel bed in two color options for only $7.95. These values are in stock and on sale right now, only at More Furniture. Preview these and all sale specials online at morefurniture.com. I have three, no, four boys. <laughs> <laughs> and with one of them who... To prepare you for the day ahead with Anthony Bailey. Megan Ruth, here when you need them. Investigative journalism, up-to-date pinpoint weather, on air and online. The Valley's only AM team on Eyewitness News this morning. Weekdays from 5 to 7 on CBS 47. Eyewitness News is brought to you in part by Atlantis Private Investigations. Now, your CBS 47 Pinpoint Weather Forecast. Good evening and welcome back. I'm Chief Meteorologist Lauren Wallace. A warm day. In fact, we'll call it hot for some of you, considering our average high temperature is 69 degrees today. Fresno, you hit 90 for the first time this season. Your record high temperature today was 85, so you broke that. Lamar, you also hit 90 degrees today. Hanford, you hit 90. You broke a record high temperature. Records in Madera and Merced as well, with your highs in the upper 80s this afternoon. Right now, you are in the 70s.
70s in Fresno, 73. Otherwise, we have 60s. Porterville, 63. Lemoore, 66. Los Banos here at 65 this evening. And then we have 57 on the map for those of you in Mariposa. Looking ahead to tomorrow, here's what we can expect. More record high temperatures. So Fresno, your forecast high tomorrow, 88. Your current record is 85. We're going to break that. Madera, 87 tomorrow. That's going to break your current record of 83. Merced, your forecast high is also above your record high. And then Hanford, 88 tomorrow. I also expect you to break your record high temperature. Here's a look at the last 12 hours with our radar satellite loop sunshine today. We're clear heading into tonight. We still have that area of high pressure as our dominant weather feature. So we've been seeing sunshine from that and we've certainly been feeling that warm up. We've had the record breaking temperatures. That high is going to stick around and influence us for the next couple of days. So we are still going to be warm through Saturday and then Sunday is the day where we'll finally notice some changes that will include a cool down. And as we head to Sunday night, we're going to be seeing a chance of showers. But let's talk about the next two days of our forecast. 11 o'clock this evening through tonight, mostly clear skies, 50s on the way for us tonight. It's a little bit warm for this time of the year for our overnight lows. Here's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, mostly sunny to end the week. By the end of the day, though, we'll start to see a few clouds increasing, so partly cloudy during the evening hours. Tomorrow night, we'll keep some of those clouds around, so partly cloudy night. Here's the start of our Saturday, and then Saturday, expect partly cloudy skies. Still going to be in the 80s, even though we have those added clouds. For tonight, down to 57 in Fresno, 52 Lamore into Larry 53, Madera 51, Oakhurst will drop back to the mid 40s. Highs tomorrow, 88 Fresno, Porterville 88, Mendota 87, Merced you'll be at 86, Mariposa 79, and then Auberry a high of 76. Yosemite Valley 70 in sunshine tomorrow, Shaver Lake 36 tonight, 66 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Heading to Grant Grove, partly cloudy, 66, Sequoia National Park low 60s, you can also expect a few clouds there. Moderate air quality across the valley tomorrow, but good if you are heading to Sequoia National Park. Here's a look at your extended forecast. Records tomorrow, Saturday 86, very close to the current record. On Sunday, we'll drop back to the 70s. We will see a chance of showers during the late evening hours, so the majority of your Sunday will be dry. Sunday night, expect showers. Those will continue into Monday. We drop all the way back to 66 on Monday and then expect a warming trend again starting Tuesday. In the Sierra, 60s through Saturday. Again, late evening hours, we'll see rain and snow move in snow levels near 7,000 feet dropping to 6,000 feet on Monday. There's a look at your forecast. We'll send it back to Catherine. Thanks Lauren. New at 11, a landmark on the central coast will be welcoming visitors once again. Hearst Castle is set to reopen on May 11th. The state park had been closed to tourists for the past two years. It's due to the pandemic and storm damage to that windy access road that happened in early 2021. The castle and the grounds could host around 850 thousand visitors a year. State officials say the access road has been repaired and you can now make tour reservations starting on March 31st. We have a link for those reservations on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Coming up in sports, a big game for Fresno's Bryson Williams, but it was not enough tonight. Andrew Martin's next in Sports Central. Paul Mitchell, the school Fresno, is proud to be helping future professionals follow their dreams and reach great goals. We can help you pursue your career in cosmetology or barbering, and financial aid is available to those who qualify. Come make it happen now at Paul Mitchell, the school Fresno. If you don't have a primary care doctor for your family, Premium Urgent Care provides all general health services at multiple Valley locations. Set your appointment online and Premium Urgent Care will serve you quickly for the health of those you love. Get quality care at Premium Urgent Care today. Tax season sale going on right now here at Quality Furniture. Come check us out for these specials. We have this beautiful solid wood dining table with the hidden storage on the base with the six matching chairs all for $28 a month. We have this beautiful tub to bed available in queen or king size all for $34 a month. We have this beautiful sectional with four power recliners all for $37 a month. We have five years with no interest and no money down with good credit, bad credit, or no credit. We'll get you approved in our two locations in Fresno and Visalia. I know this may look like a classic rooftop chase scene. But it's an Nissan salesman. Right on cue. This rogue's got more power than that CRV. You might want to hold on. Get 0.9% financing for up to 72 months on 14 models. The action never ends, but these offers will. If you want to walk away with more money at the end of your case, 
Choose Jacoby & Myers at the start of your case. At Jacoby & Myers, we get our clients up to 10 times the original insurance offer. Choose Jacoby & Myers. Your financial support for Central California Legal Services means victory for families like Maria's, a veteran and victim of eviction fraud. There are so many more that need your help. Bring justice to our community. You help CCLS fight for justice. Donate today. If you don't have a primary care doctor for your family, Premium Urgent Care provides all general health services at multiple Valley locations. Set your appointment online and Premium Urgent Care will serve you quickly for the health of those you love. Get quality care at Premium Urgent Care today. Now your Central Valley.com pros who know. Don't be fooled by imitation stem cell treatments. For real regeneration, we use your own body stem cells to turn damaged tissue into healthier ones. Call us today for an appointment. For more expert advice, go to your Central Valley.com slash pros who know. Eyewitness News is brought to you in part by Sir Pro of Clovis, by Celia, Fresno, and Shaver. Now, Sports Central, presented by Toyota. Where would Texas Tech be this season without Bryson Williams? He's their leading scorer, and he's first team all Big 12. Thanks to him and others, the Red Raiders made it to the Sweet 16, but not the Elite Eight. They faced Duke on Thursday night, a 2-3 matchup in the West region. And the big storyline here, would this be the last game ever for Coach K, who's retiring after the season? Bryson Williams scored the first basket of the game after getting his own rebound. He scored six points in the first half. Texas Tech led by four at the break. Second half, more Bryson Williams. He scored 15 points in the second half. So 12. For the game, a team high. Not enough. The final score, Texas Tech loses 78-73. So Duke advances to the Elite Eight, where the Blue Devils will play Arkansas on Saturday. As for the Red Raiders, their season ends with a record of 27 and 10. Last collegiate game for Bryson Williams. Elsewhere in the Sweet 16 on Thursday, two number one seeds lose. I mentioned Duke will play Arkansas in the Elite Eight. That's because the Razorbacks beat Gonzaga in the Sweet 16, 74-68. In the South region, fifth seeded Houston beat number one seed Arizona 72 to 60. Houston is in the Elite Eight for the second year in a row. Also in the South region, Villanova beat Michigan 63 55. To football, Thursday was pro day at Fresno State. 13 recent Fresno State football players had the chance to work out in front of NFL scouts and coaches. 19 NFL teams are represented, and they all saw Deron Bland run a 4-4-2 in the 40-yard dash. They also saw Ronnie Rivers run a 4-5-3, which was better than the time he ran at the NFL Combine in Indianapolis a few weeks ago. I've had nothing but good feedback, really. Um, versatile, uh, smart when it comes to the playbook. So I'm excited to see what, you know, everybody thinks and uh, where I'll end up. What do you think is going to make you stand out in this process? Uh, versatility, uh, being able to catch the ball well, um, either from the slot or out of the backfield, uh, run the ball. And I think a big thing for me is pass pro. Um, I did a great job, you know, the five years that I was here uh, with pass protection, and I think it'll translate. Uh, Speaking of translating to the next level, Madera South pitcher Murph Gray will be playing at the next level. He's committed to Fresno State. On Thursday, he was on the mound against Edison and showing why he has Division I talent. Fastball there for the strikeout on this one takes a little off. Another strikeout. This game was scoreless until the fifth when the Tigers get a couple of runs. They go on to win 3-0. The final score. One more basketball note in the NBA. Paul George practiced today for the first an elbow injury. And that's a look at sports. Catherine, back to you. Thanks, Andrew. And a programming note, due to CBS coverage of the March Madness games tomorrow, we'll have a special newscast at 3 p.m. and another newscast after the games at 9 p.m., followed by Eyewitness News at 11. Still to come, a great way to encourage reading. Students at a local elementary school will get some free books today. We'll have that story straight ahead. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Nice. Solid imagination. Get low financing on Highlander and the 36 MPG Highlander Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. 
Handcrafted SAS shoes are America's comfort shoes, and you'll find the complete line at the SAS shoe store at Blackstone and Herndon. Right now, save $15 on all sandals for men and women during the spring sandal sale at SAS Shoes. SAS Shoes are hand-sewn and made in America. Most come in half sizes from slim to wide-wide, and our expert staff will ensure you get a perfect fit. The locally owned SAS Shoe Store at Blackstone and Herndon. Life's a journey. Wear comfortable shoes. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. It's Truck Month at your Central Valley Chevy dealers, where you can get 0% financing plus a $1,000 accessory allowance toward the eligible purchase of a new Silverado with accessories, the number one selling full-size pickup truck in California. Visit your participating Central Valley Chevrolet dealers. Quality Foster Care is looking for resource families who are able to create a home for children who have been displaced. Since 1995, we've served foster youth and their families, giving every child the opportunity Quality foster ongoing training and monthly reimbursement. In turn, you offer these children hope, guidance, and nurturance. Call today for your orientation. Make a difference in the life of a child. Open your home and become a resource parent. Lifestyle furniture, furniture for your lifestyle. Score big with Lifestyle Furniture Sofa Madness Sale going on now. Make an easy layup with six. on Fresno's largest in-stock selection. Like the Nemo sofa that's only $695 and ready for delivery today. Or save big on our full sleeper Spencer cobblestone sofa that's only $595. It's a slam dunk here at Lifestyle Furniture. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. <laughs> save big at the pump with Toyota's industry-leading selection of 10 fuel-efficient hybrids. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. They say Fresno. Well, how about Fres? Yes, tomorrow we're live previewing the festival, bringing some food, fun, and music to downtown Fresno. And keeping an eye on record setting temperatures continuing across the valley. Join us in the morning. Coming up on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, tonight's guests are actress Sandra Bullock and a performance by Billy Strings. Students at a Fresno Elementary School went home with some free books today. The Smart and Final Charitable Foundation, along with Scholastic Book Fair, got together and gave each child at Heaton Elementary three free books. The students were able to take their pick from available books at the fair, and they couldn't be more excited. I think it's important because some of us can't always get books available. So it's important that way we can always be able to read. It's so awesome. They just get so excited that they get to take three free books and they go, do we get to take them home? And I'm like, yes, of course. And I heard a couple students, this is the best day ever. <laughs> That's awesome. President Unified Superintendent Bob Nelson said the district was very thankful for the generous donation and for the companies helping the students to expand their home libraries. I love that. Book fairs are so much fun. They are. It opens up new worlds. Absolutely. Well, we're going to be feeling warm temperatures again tomorrow. Record-breaking heat, 88 degrees in the afternoon. Back to 86 on Saturday. Sunday, we drop all the way to 79. The majority of the day will be dry. Late in the evening hours is when we'll see a chance of showers. I do expect to see showers Sunday night lingering into Monday. Another big drop in temperatures Monday, down to 66. That's going to do it for us. Stay tuned for The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. CBS 47 Eyewitness News is on air, online, and on the go. Take Eyewitness News with you and share your stories with us on Facebook, Twitter, and on yourcentralvalley.com.
No, this is an uncertain time. We know you're concerned about tensions abroad and the strain at home. You have questions. News Nation promises to help you find the answers. Wake up with Morning in America. It is nice to have something uplifting to share with you today, especially in light of all of the news going on. The team you can trust to keep you informed and engaged. Our Robert Sherman is live in Ukraine this morning with the very latest for us. Everything you need to know to start your day a little brighter. Morning in America, weekday mornings at 7, 6 central on News Nation. I'm Mike Osborne with OsborneHomes.com, and I want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours. Whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition, OsborneHomes.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to OsborneHomes.com, there's no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just go to OsborneHomes.com for a free, no-obligation cash offer 24 hours a day. That's OsborneHomes.com. More furniture has amazing styles at incredible values all in stock and on sale for spring. Make your secondary bedroom or home office even more functional with these space-saving solutions. Like this pull-out day bed with two twin mattresses for only $4.95. Or upgrade to this option featuring nail head detail and tufted cushions for only $6.95. This convertible can help keep any guest comfortable for only $1.95. Thank you. 